Okay, so today's video is not really that bike related, although this is a Toby Price Edition Triton, so I guess it is in a way. Just like Toby Price's trophy truck, only minus Toby and minus the sponsors and minus about 400 horsepower. But we're going to be fitting a Man Hummel Provent 200 catch can to the MR Triton. So we'll see how we go. Right, so here is the catch can from Western Filters, and it's a Provent. So I open the box and see what's there. This is for the MR Triton, it's kit OSPROV-14. So we've got a list here of the parts that's been checked off by somebody. We've got the instructions. It's the MR Triton, so we've got the right one. The sticker. Car air freshener by Western Filters. Got the filter itself. Some good quality hoses. Got a clear drain hose. Pretty solid and sturdy bracket by the looks of it. Which I believe that mounts underneath the brake booster. And a bag with some tie wraps and some clamps and we've got the tap for the bottom of the drain hose. So yeah, there it all is. Let's see how we go. There's the basic tools to do the job. The spanners are 12 and 13 millimeters and don't forget Loctite. Okay, so installing the Provent catch can on the MR Triton. That's the area it's going to go in. We remove the engine cover first up. This is the hose, breather hose that goes through to the turbo. So that gets replaced as well. Uh, the drain tube then gets run out through the right hand wheel wheel and ends up down here, down the bottom. Here's a quick look at the install instructions. I'd only use them as a guide. For example, at step three, I actually found it easier to bolt the bracket to the brake booster and then bolt on the filter housing. And take caution not to nick those brake lines as the edges of the bracket are quite sharp because that bracket is stainless steel. So first step is to ensure the engine cover is off and cool to touch. Remove engine cover, locate the install area. So first step, take off the cover. Three bolts, off it comes. Okay, step two, inlet position, rotate the provent within the plastic bracket, six clicks and attach the drain hose to the base of the provent. So there we go, we've rotated it to the right position, attached the drain hose to the bottom and attached the tap as well. So that's ready to go. Okay, step three, bolt the Provent unit to the supplied bracket. Use supplied nuts, washers and bolts from the kit. Some Loctite on the threads to stop things from vibrating loose. Then remove the two nuts on the brake booster. and it's a good idea to disconnect the switch, release that plug, and get out of harm's way. Okay, so we fit the bracket in place, we just take off these two nuts, also disconnected the switch, just a bit of room, a bit of Loctite on the threads. Next 
step is to fit that filter housing. Okay, and don't forget to connect the switch back up. Very important. Okay, that's the mounting position for it. As you can see, I'm just going to put the, the nuts on. There we go. A little bit of Loctite on the threads, on the other washers, and the nuts. You want those nuts vibrating loose, so a bit of thread locker is always good. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All nuts are done up. Okay, feed the drain hose down through the engine bay and wheel arch, trim the drain hose to required length, secure with supplied clamp, and ensure tap is closed. Remember that. So now we've bolted the bracket on, attached the drain hose, fed the drain hose down. I believe that's what that bolt's for, and that P-clamp is for the drain hose. Uh, the next step, okay, that's fitting the bracket, we've done that. Okay, remove the OEM breather hose, we're going to do that now. Okay, interesting to see how much oil is actually in this hose when we take it off. Well, there's a bit in there, a bit of oil in there, so you can see that's the oil that's going back in to the turbo and through the system. So, this is what we're trying to prevent. Hang on to that. You can see there's actually oil coming out of the breather there, so... And that's what the catch can is for. So, I'm going to connect a hose up to the top, and then one from the bottom to the turbo. Okay, step 7. Attach supplied S-shaped hose to Provence lower outlet. Run along the air box and fit to air intake just before the turbo. Okay, so making sure there's nothing in the hose, no snakes or bugs will fit. A part of the hose goes on the filter. Forward part goes to the turbo. Okay, install the hose, making sure there's good clearance on everything and it's not going to come in contact with anything, particularly the clamps. You don't want them chafing on anything. Okay, that all looks pretty secure. Next step, is the hose from the top of the engine to the top of the filter. Provent top inlet to crankcase outlet. Okay, so here we go. I'm actually going to use a little bit of that oil that's in there for a bit of lube. Okay. So this hose is a straight hose, but obviously it's got to be in a bit of an S-bend, so you want to orientate it in a way that it's not going to um, come in contact with anything. So, okay, I'm going to fit it to the engine cover first. Okay, so orient the hose. So that you've basically got a little bit of an S-bend there. It's not making contact anywhere. A 
looks pretty good to me. Same goes with the clamps. Yeah, because everything's plastic or aluminium. Just do it, do it up firmly, don't do it up too tight. You don't want to crack the plastic or any aluminium casing, any any cast aluminium. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll get our crankcase ventilation hooked up to the top of the filter, bottom of the filter, down through to the turbo. Next thing is rerouting this drain hose and attaching it. Okay, so I took a few steps backwards. I decided to reroute the hose, so they sort of leave it up to you where you want to put it, but where I've put it, if you can see, it's basically so it drops straight down between these two pipes here and I've actually zip tied it just here so it's not making contact with anything so it's quite secure there then run it past the steering arm down there and underneath basically drops straight down the back here so it's nice and secure, it's not going to move Probably cable tied again there. And one thing they don't tell you is that over here there's a threaded part in the chassis where you can actually, they've got a bolt and a P clamp. I'm going to run the hose down there and P clamp it so that it's well out of the way of the wheel. So there you can now see where I've run the hose. Just got to tighten up the P clamp. Perfect. Okay, I don't know whether I'll trim that hose. I think it's probably about the right length. There you can see where I've routed it. So, right out of the way of the wheel. I'll put a zip tie there, or cable tie, just to make sure it doesn't interfere with the wheel. You can sort of see from back here, it runs straight down. It's not interfering with anything. There we go. There we go. So you can see it running down here. It's not making any contact with that hose. Secured here with a zip tie. Another one there clamp and now we just need to put the tap back in okay so P clamps in make sure that is turned off the tap the tap itself I just ended up uh, cable tying that to the chassis down the bottom there easy we'll replace that with a P clamp at a later date and I didn't have to end up trimming the hose off at the end it was about the right length so running it in that position seemed to be pretty good so that's it that's the installation just put it, got to put the engine cover back on there we go there we go the end result as you can see it's a pretty good fit so the western filters got a bit of a quality kit there Good silicon hoses, comes with really good clamps, uh, instructions are pretty easy to use. It's a little bit fiddly sometimes, putting the bracket on and routing the drain hose, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. There you go. Probably took about an hour to install by the time I finished stuffing around. Bit of a leak check. All good.
the Man Hummel Provent 200, and that's the one for the MR Triton. So there you go. It's fitting the Western Filters catch can for the Toby Price Triton. You might ask, why did I buy a Toby Price Edition Triton? Well, they're such a great looking truck. It's one of only 500 made. I'm a big bike fan, particularly of Dakar. And well, Toby Price, he's just a bloody Aussie legend, isn't he? It's good enough for me.